Hello, this is Sabina at Cross Keys Crafts. Today I would like to show you, as promised, how I put my Shaker Dome cards together. I have received um, quite a, a few more uh, COVID visors. Thank you for Mandy and Alison for giving them to me. I've also played around a bit more with the new acetate and I had to find that not all visors are created equal. I just show you a few examples so if you followed my last few videos and try to use your visors I found that my new visors is really thick plastic they're perfect for the bigger domes yeah this is these are really sturdy and quite nice without uh, too many creases on the side but the new visors did not work that well for the smaller shapes so play around a bit with the acetate that you have and see what you can make with those so for this shaker dome i have still used the thinner acetate i had uh, from visors and i've played a bit around in how to make the actual um domes how to make sure sorry the actual shakers um with the cards i'm going to show you at the end of the video i used my collal glue but i found um it was a bit tricky and the shaker bits would get caught on the edges and would be glued down there so with this one I have actually used hot glue and um, what I did there I used my actual mold I put my shaker dome upside down into it and then I put uh, hot glue around the rim make sure it is really hot and adheres well um, I, I, I sorry by then I had already filled my shaker bits into the card make sure there's nothing um, at the rim and then I pressed my cardstock for the background onto it, made sure it cooled properly. And when I turned it over, I actually put another bit of hot glue onto the bits where the shaker dome rim was a bit raised. Because you can see there's a crease there, there was a crease there, and I didn't want the small bits to sneak through those. Um, I used some glitter card for the background here. Any cardstock is fine. This mine was a bit thin, so I just backed it with another piece of cardstock just to be on the safe side. So this is ready to use, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach this. For this um, card, I decided to use this large cookie stamp. I only got that last week from a company here in the UK called Printable Haven, and this is the cookie stamp and there also which i've used here are some sentiments to go with these they go both from paper mania uh, sweet treats and they were only a pound each um, so they have very good offers there on that uh, site um, i have then heat embossed these white bits with an embossing pen and this wow white puff it didn't puff awfully but you can still see a bit of texture on it which i think is nice because i wanted it to look like some icing on the cookie and then i have um, heat embossed the sentiment with just normal white uh, embossing paste and as you can also also see i've already attached a ribbon to it because I want to put a little bow in the front so all I did was put some red tape on the back just put this across and then I'm going to attach this bit a bit later when I've attached the dome because this cardstock is really flimsy I've cut a second piece um, slightly smaller and for if if your dome fits your die cut you can then cut this out but because I made a boo-boo on my video and I did remedy this last time and told you about it, my shaker dome is actually too big for the die cut. So I just used my original template to draw the shape onto the card and cut it out. And it's easier if you do this whilst it's still a single layer. And then when you cut the second bit, I just used this as a template, drew that there. And this is actually much bigger uh, because it doesn't really matter because it hides in the back so all i need to do now i just left this off to show you how i attach the ribbon is to glue the back down so um it is a bit firmer because you want some firm card stock on the shaker card um to basically hide all your sins because it is quite thick 
the shaker dome um, with all the hot glue and possibly some creases in the plastic. So make sure you've got plenty of glue around the shaker dome bit. So I hope I've got this the right way around but it doesn't really matter. With the collar glue it's always important that you press it down properly for it to adhere. So now I can insert this and um, you can either put a bit of glue on each side or you can use some some tape it's up to you on some of the cards I've measured where it goes and glued it down like this but it really it doesn't really matter as long as it sits nicely there so I think I'm going with this one I think I'm going to put a bit of glue on the bits that overhang where I've got a bit of cardstock and then I'm going to um, adhere it with tape as well no one will see what it's going to be like on the back of your card just mislaid my cello tape. There it is. So. You can probably hear the neighbours shouting outside. All you need to do there is just keep it in place for now. So, and as you can see, because this is raised now, you need to um, put some fa foam tape or foam squares all around to make up for this height. What I have done is um, I showed you in my haul the sheep cheap. Um, foam tip that I buy from Poundland but it's really really sticky so I had some of this carrier shade from my Cricut vinyl and I just um, stuck it on there and now it's really really easy to cut so I can cut this to length if you don't have enough space on either side of these you can also cut these in half length ways And all I'm looking out for is that it actually looks neat if the recipient looks in from the side. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you ever get glue on your scissors, just use some uh, rubbing alcohol and wipe it off with a cloth. It usually works for me. this way around if I have little pieces like this and I find this one's a bit short I just pop that on the corners there and I do pop this bit in the middle here oh sorry I hope I'm not going off screen too much Sometimes I get carried away crafting and don't realise what I'm doing. Also apologies for my manicure today. I've got proper crafter's fingernails today. I haven't done, done them yet. So Now I'll put a bit of um, glue on the middle bit. 
make sure this adheres on the card properly. Got my card base here, which is just a six by four, which I buy from ready made from the works. But obviously, you can also make your own. So, center that. I always check this before I glue these down. Basically, when I cut the cardstock, make sure it's the right size. There you go. This has moved a little bit in the middle but it doesn't matter there we go and now that's all that's left to do is attach the little bow Um, i always do these separately because i find it looks so much neater than if you uh, try to tie a bow from the ribbon you put around let me just check which one i want in the front again the collar glue is quite good for that Can also use a glue dot or some hot glue. Yeah, I might have to use some hot glue. Some ribbons um, absorb the glue too much and then it's a bit tricky to put them down. So yeah, I will put my hot glue gun on later. Yeah, it doesn't want to stick. So this is this shaker card ready. I also want to show you quickly with the other cards I have made and played around with. Here I have used um, my uh, mug die again. I have cut the cream from glitter cardstock and I have used some white cardstock and dry embossed it with hearts. And I have used a happy birthday sentiment, but I just didn't want it plain. I wanted it to stick out a bit. So I cut the same one in red cardstock and offset it a bit, which I think gives it some nice dimension. And this one I've filled with um, some little polymer clay hearts that I bought and I've also stuck these on here. And I thought that was quite a nice sweet treat. I have used the same die for this Christmas card. But this time I uh, used the um, cream mould I made before, as you can see the dome there, the depth. But here, as I said to you before, I made the mistake. I was too impatient and the acrylic glue basically stuck to the edges so the sequins got stuck and they won't move anymore. I've used some pattern paper, the one I bought at the works uh, the other week. Um, again, I backed that one up with uh, white cardstock to make it thicker and I cut from a new piece, I cut uh, a heart um, with a Merry Christmas as a, <coughs> pardon me, as a sentiment and I used some uh, brown um, ink just to ink on the edges to give it a bit more dimension. I put this on a red cardstock, I will most probably put a white, white piece inside to write inside. And I used a bit of a sparkly pen as well on the hot chocolate. And I thought this pattern paper worked quite nicely with this motif. And then with the um, round shaker domes, I told you the other day when I demonstrated again how to make the domes. If you have any creases or anything that make them look a bit funny, you can easily cover this. And with this one, I decided to basically cover the uh, imperfections with just this... Um, sentiment banner um, and uh, which I think I got from Positively Paper Craft. I'll, if I find any links for things um, I have used I put them in the description and I thought it was quite a ni nice idea because the sequins are so colourful just to leave this plain white but I used some embossed cardstock and just have a few of the sequins cascading on either edge. And this is actually a top folding card. Sometimes I prefer that. And this first one, you've already seen that in my very first video and in the thumb um, uh, pictures. Um, I just dry embossed the background with a, it's a Gemini um, 3D embossing plate. And I still already had these um, snowflakes die cut from last year. 
and I put where again where I had some imperfections in the shaker domes I just edit you can vaguely see them some a snowflake sequins so I hope you like this video if you did I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up and if you would like to subscribe to my channel I'd be even happier thank you very much